Hey guys, back with another video uh, of this uh, Land Rover Discovery. We're gonna add on some roof rails. There is uh, some instructions, or there are some instructions on the Land Rover website, and I'll post a link to those uh, down below uh, in the description. But you can order the roof rails right there on eBay, and that's what I did. I got them from some Chinese provider, and so I was all excited to go ahead and put them on here. And then I started to discover that when you take this off, this little thing pops off, and so does this back piece back here. You can see right here, this piece right here, it pops off. Well, you, there's no way to put the holes that you need in there, so I found out the hard way that you need some trim pieces. And so I contacted Land Rover, and I caught uh, the trim pieces that have the holes already built in, see? And then this too has these holes built in. So. Uh, these are meant to be discarded once you take them off. So you can't start this project unless you have those trim pieces uh, so that you can get it installed properly. And then you'll also need a torque bit, uh, one of these, a, 10, a 10, uh, T40, I'm sorry. So you'll need a T40 here to, uh, to take off the existing bolts underneath. And so that's what'll get you started. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first step, which is to take off this trim piece again don't try this unless you have the piece ready to go the filler piece because this thing is hard to put back on and it usually breaks so take this off and then we'll take that other piece off and follow the instructions and be right back so here i am up, up on top i got a little ladder underneath me here but you're probably going to want a tool like this if you can find one so you don't scratch uh you know this this side of it this doesn't matter obviously because it's coming off but you'll want to go ahead and pry up underneath there and pop this guy all the way off all the way down See, I've already done it before, uh, and it's, so it's already pretty loose. And you'll pop these off and take these guys out. Take all those little pieces out. Uh, because the new piece we have, the trim piece we have, we'll already have those in place. So taking that off and then the back, the back part right there, that little part right there too. So just a quick update where I am. I'm using that T40 uh, hex nut to uh, loosen these guys up. And I've cleaned all this off, all the adhesive and everything. It was really tough right in here. If you don't have Gooby gone or something to help you out, use WD-40, that's what I did, and it comes right out. And so we'll take all these, there's six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six on each side. I'm gonna take all those out and we'll start putting the uh, filler pieces on. Come right back. The next step is to uh, put in these two filler pieces. And I have black rail, so I don't really mind that's gonna be black. Uh, and then these two filler pieces in the back. And they have adhesive and you take them off and then you gotta snap these things right in place. And so we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot and I'm try to be very delicate. Okay, the trim piece is in back here. You can see the holes now. We're gonna be ready to put our uh, roof rail in. So all the way up there too, these all had adhesive and then connections and everything. So old put in and then to the new here. Now we're ready to start putting our roof rails on. So next step is to uh, put these guys on and uh, underneath it'll say you know, right there, left hand, left hand side. So this is the left hand side, the driver's side that goes in there. And you wanna use the long screws on these long screws and then the short screws here but then you'll use the rest of the long screws back here at least with the ones I have anyway so put that in place and then we'll put these into uh, the rail already here and then we'll screw the screws the screws through them before we put them up there because it'll just be easier to line it all up so we'll do that and so just up. real quick I just wanted to show you that if you start these first before you put them up on top there it'd be a lot easier to to um, line them up if you just try to take these little things off and set them up there it's gonna be more difficult so just a little piece of advice all right the last step is to put these little filler pieces up on top to fill in those little spots right there right up there there's so you got uh, six of them of course and so just peel off the little strippy tippy you know the tape that's gonna hold it down hopefully uh, we'll see but that's it so there they are up on top rails in place with the trim pieces all right comment with any questions as always subscribe take care